Hmm, so here we are. Fish, Great Woods, 1993. Perhaps not our final dinner in a movie, but dinner in a movie is certainly winding down with some actual live shows and summer and fall tour upon us. But perhaps one more in June. And here we are. And if you're the observant type, you may have noticed it appears to be daytime. This video is recorded before dinner and a movie is airing. There's audio only. You can listen to several places, including here on YouTube. So I will watch tonight. Unfortunately, there won't be any commentary on Trey's hair, Mike sneakers, Fishman, who knows what he's going on. Did you get a shot at Fishman's testicles at any point? I don't think he wore underwear before 95. No draws underneath that dress. So here we go. We start with Llama, Horn, Nelly, Citizen Kane. Probably not what made this show great. Very good start, especially, you know, just Llama coming out and punching you in the face. Horn, I had never been a big Horn guy. And then Nelly Kane. So like I said, a good start, but not a great start. So then the greatness starts to creep upon us. Divided Sky, just like, you know, it's like, that's kind of the theme of these early 90s shows too, like... There just aren't a lot of rock and roll songs like Divided Sky. Is that even rock and roll? I don't know what that is. Not a whole lot of improv jam there, but it doesn't matter. Then Gula Papyrus, Riff, Stash, Mango Song, just every one of these right here, you know, played very well. Just type of song just made me just really miss and wish that I was around in 1993. How could you just, and then, you know, bouncing around the room, all right, you know, bouncing's always going to do its thing. Felt like there was really no room for a break right there. And then Paige McConnell, Squirming Coil, ending the first set. One of my favorite placements for it. Obviously over here, getting two thumbs up. But we'll give you one thumbs up there with that. But all this right here really is your big highlight. From Divided Sky all the way through Mango's song. The stash was exceptional tonight. Rift, of course. Gula Papyrus, the song Trey once said he loves playing. So we're going to give it a red check. But overall, maybe... In the first set, that was great. We're going to give Stash a highlight. Oh, look at this. We're tearing up the whiteboard. And I don't know why I got the whiteboard so high to start with. You know, I don't know if I thought Bill Walton was going to guest host tonight on the whiteboard or what. So make sure you listen to the Stash if you don't get a chance to check out the entire dinner in a movie. What am I talking about? Of course you did. That's why you're watching this, man. Squirming Coil, always going to be a highlight. And like I said, this stuff here, not bad stuff, but... You know, it really got cooking at Divided Sky. All right, all right. I'm getting a little out of hand with this dauber. I'm turning the dauber into the Sharpie. So, and it just, you know, and, and everything was just played with, like, such an intensity. I mean, a song like Riff, you're just like, what is this song, man? It's awesome. And then they had to follow that up with Stash and then Mango Song, like the poppy song of the group. But my good, you know, then just... I don't know, even modern day fish, you know, I, I don't know, I'm going to start talking about songs like More and Blaze On, but I mean, come on, man, if you got all of this, why would you ever play More? I don't know, then you got this right here, you don't, definitely don't need it, but okay, like I said, we're not here to bash More, Ooh, I don't know if I, if I got the room here, ah, uh, eh, I don't know how I feel about this, 2001 starting the second set, you know, that's not, not something we're getting all the time now, I don't know what the situation here was, what time it was, what the sun setting situation was, but it'll fool around too much with 2001 and then get right into split open and melt. Fluffhead, maze, glide. It's like glide's your low point. No, no, glide's not a low point. All right, sparkle, goofy little song. And then we get into a big mic screw. We get no I am hydrogen, but we feel like we get a little spiritual moment. You know, and very, you know, good on the crowd. Got really, really quiet. Almost felt like a prayer service going on there for a few moments. The Mike song, absolutely outstanding. The jam into Mike song leads into another jam into Mike song, and then into our peaceful prayer service, and then to do a big week of Paul Groove. And then at that point, you know, they just absolutely smashed everything right through here. So now let's have some fun. Fishman, Purple Rain, Hold Your Head Up. You know, I think I finally, finally, after a hundred and something couch tour shows, I finally got Hold Your Head Up, checked it off the list, no longer chasing that. And look, look right here, dinner and a movie. I don't know how many hold your head up have we got. It's like a regular on dinner and a movie. So then you got Daniel Saw the Stone, as you can see, the saw ya. And uh, kind of like Llama, you know, just a rocker that's going in. Boom, you got punched in the face to start the show. Daniel, good times, bad times. All right, you get a little British invasion, even in 93. They're not done, though. Golgi, the crowds, you know, there's fucking freaks out in the crowd yelling out Freebird. 
Fish responds, Trey, what song is it you want to hear? And then you get an acapella freebird. Very good acapella freebird. A thing they did a time or two in the 90s. I always like Golgi too. That's a, that's a great encore. And that was just a little bonus there at the end. You know, I'm glad it didn't end with good times, bad times. The song was too good to end with that. We got the Golgi. Could have flip-flopped them. Got the squirming coil ending the first set. Got a Golgi in the encore. Starting the second set with 2001. And then a llama opener, man. If you weren't down to boogie after that llama opener, well, horn certainly. You know, horn wasn't going to do it. If you weren't fucking boogieing after llama, I don't know what the hell was going on with you for horn. Then, all right, you know, that does it. This will probably, like I said, not the last dinner in a movie, but I think it'll be the last whiteboard dinner in a movie. And uh, we're trying this. This is a little, little something different. Pre-recorded, the world premiere, the world premiere right here on YouTube. I know Spud's in the house watching. You know, this thing ain't even going to air for another 11 hours or something. Spud's here. Boom. Thanks for watching. Dan Z, I'm sure you were there. Everybody else. Good lieutenant? Stavely? Would he be? Would he be? He's got his nose in that book. All right, guys. Boom. A little vamp in the middle. That was a vamp at the end.